we were being paired into teams for the Omni games, I was definitely nervous. I was standing up at the front, about to draw a name out of a hat. I had a moment of pause. What if I drew the name of somebody with a freshly shaven face? What if they couldn't fully appreciate my upper lip sweater and full face scarf? And that's when all the tension melted away. I didn't even know the name of the owner. I just knew I was in good company with another Beard as my teammate. Thus, Team Beard was born, and we got off to a pretty fast start. We rode in a dog sled while the wind trembled at our impenetrable face shield. Our whiskers picked up slight variations in changing wind conditions during archery allowing us to let the arrows fly straight and true. When tasked with building a shelter, we didn't really see the point. Our owners only really needed us to stay warm through a night of sub-zero temperatures. And then, tragedy struck. Our owners had just successfully made fire and had the water going at a slight boil, but we really needed that extra push to get it to a rolling boil. With just three minutes left in the challenge, Seth's beard went in dangerously close to blow oxygen to the fire to give it that last boost. And that's when I smelled it. The left side of my beard had been singed. I couldn't feel the pain at first. I suppose it was all the adrenaline rushing through me. But then it hit. I fell back in horror, while Casey's beard kept pushing on for the prize and achieved a rolling boil. You know, it was traumatizing to watch back then, but I still believe to this day that those singed whiskers were the final fuel that fire needed to get to a roar. We're willing to do what it takes for Team Beard, even if it means setting ourselves on fire. After steady and pretty vigorous rehabilitation, Team Beard took to the ropes course the next morning. Have you ever seen a beard fly? We're fairly confident everyone in Park City got to experience it that day. We took to the slopes afterwards where our beards awarded us VIP status in the lift lines. Beards do not like to wait in lines. But after 11 intense runs and all the team scores were tallied, we found out Team Beard was still in the top five. Only one obstacle remains between us and a trip to Jordan, the Charles Dickens Storytelling Challenge, where our owners tell you about their Omni Games experience. We'd be thrilled to go to Jordan with the winning teams. Not only would the outdoor adventure be great, but we'd be walking in the beard steps of some of history's champion chin carpets. Hammurabi, Saladin, Moses. Plus, we heard Dead Sea Mud is a great beard conditioner. Head to our owners' websites, plainsandpeaks.com and modernhiker.com, to read all about their Omni Games experience. And if you like their entries in the Charles Dickens Challenge, be sure to share them using the hashtags Pound Omni Games and Pound Team Beard. While you're at it, let Columbia know about it too. You can find them on Twitter at Columbia1938. If he were still around, you know, Charles would be on Team Beard too. I mean, look at that thing. I have great expectations for our mutual friends, Team Beard. Don't send them back to a bleak house. Give them a Christmas carol in Jordan. Don't make me Oliver twist your arm. Buy my books.